are going live. Potentially. Hopefully we're going live. Oh, got it. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to South Charleston Public Library. I'm Annette and I'm here with Toby this evening and summer reading is all packed away and now we are um, thanking every one of you all that participated with us. But now if you'll follow us on Facebook and on YouTube for the rest of the year, this is where we'll be presenting our Family Fun Fest uh, activities. Um, for the next few weeks, we'll be sharing with you several nursery rhymes and books based on them. We will share the original version of the rhyme and then some twist to their stories. Many of you may not have even heard of some of them, but your parents and your grandparents grew up hearing them, so you can uh, ask them about it. So Toby is going to read the first nursery rhyme for you. Yes, this one. Um, this is this book is a collection of um, nursery rhymes. It is the Mother Goose Treasury, and it's published by Pie Kids and Phoenix International Publications Inc. There are several different authors and illustrators, so um, be sure you um, look for a copy of the book yourself to find out who who made what. But um, here we are. This is the original story of Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So that's an easy one. You want to read it one more time? See if you guys can read it along with me. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, yes. All right. So, so you guys know that was the original story of Humpty Dumpty, as I said. But um, Humpty Dumpty was actually the name of a cannon used by English royalists in the English Civil War of 1642. And that Civil War lasted until 1649, which is about 372 years ago. That's a big, yeah. long time ago. Um, royalists placed several cannons on the surrounding, wall, uh, surrounding walls of cities for their protection. And when the enemy fired their cannons on the city, the other cannons came tumbling down. Uh, the people of the day came up with the rhyme to remember the event. Pop culture turned the cannon into an egg over time because they thought children would like it better. Yes. So behind us on our wall, you see several books that we have that have nursery rhymes and Humpty Dumpty specifically. One is titled, What Really Happened to Humpty by Joe Dumpty as told to Jeannie Franz Ransom. We have After the Fall by Dan Santant. Dimity Dumpty, The Story of Humpty's Little Sister by Bob Graham. The Great Nursery Rhyme, Disaster, by Dave Conway. Okay, so now we have a book that we have, and this is a book that we um, have that's going to start just right now. All right. Humpty, Humpty Dumpty, Dumpty Climbs Again, written and illustrated by Dave Horowitz, and it is published by G.P. Putnam's and Sons. Humpty Dumpty climbed up a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. See, as he's... Um, finger up to his lip. He can't figure out what they're supposed to do about that. Finally, one of the king's horses had the good sense to call a doctor. One of the knights is saying, what is this? And he says, I think it's his butt. Mr. Dumpty said the doctor, you really must be more careful. I mean, for Pete's sake, you're an egg. 
Since then, Humpty had not climbed a single wall. There he is, eating potato chips in his underwear, watching television, and they will return at these commercial messages. Now all the king's horses and all the king's men make jokes about Humpty Dumpty. Whenever they pass his house, they chant, Humpty Dumpty sits in a chair. He used to climb rocks. Today he won't dare. One day, the dish went to visit Humpty Dumpty. When the dish arrived, Humpty Dumpty was sitting around in his underwear watching television like he was before. Listen, Humpty Dumpty, said the dish. This is getting ridiculous. You used to be such a brave egg. Everybody looked up to you. Now you just sit around watching TV. Whatever, said Humpty Dumpty. After that great fall I had, climbing rocks just seemed so silly. I mean, what's the point? If you say so, said the dish, and the dish ran away with a spoon. Humpty Dumpty went back to watching TV when along came a spider. The spider dropped down and frightened Humpty Dumpty right out of his house. And there in the middle of the street stood the once mighty Humpty Dumpty, shedding a tear and again in his underwear. A little dog laughed to see such a sight. Tee hee hee, did you know that dogs can make that sound? And poor Humpty Dumpty headed for the hills. Humpty Dumpty kept walking until he reached the wall. For, one t for old time's sake, he climbed up a few big rocks that lay on the bottom. And he found he was not alone. Oh, great, thought Humpty Dumpty. It's all the king's men. They'll probably make fun of me some more. But they did not. All the king's men had a big problem of their own. The king's favorite horse, Milt, had gotten stuck way up on the wall. The king will have our heads for this, the men said grimly. We're so doomed. What will we do? Humpty Dumpty noticed the climbing equipment at the men's feet. Without a word, he coiled up their rope, threw it over his shoulder, and, yep, you guessed it, Humpty Dumpty climbed again. There the knights are, agony moan, saying excellent and hooray, giving him all of this courage. So there he goes. Humpty is going up that sheer rock cliff. Yes, Humpty Dumpty knew he could fall, but still Humpty Dumpty climbed up the wall. For as long as there's trouble for horses and men, good Humpty Dumpty, the egg, climbs again. We're saved. What a brave egg. P.S. And from that day on, Humpty Dumpty never climbed again without the proper safety equipment or pants. Um, this is up to you. Now All right. So that was a fun story about Humpty Dumpty and some of the things that happened after he fell off that original wall. All right, um, so a couple closing announcements before we head out for tonight. Thank you for joining us for our short little story time. We will have a song and some stuff at the end. But um, just before you guys go, I want to let you guys know that new craft kits, um, we're doing these twice a month right now, uh, will be available on the first and third Monday at the circulation desk. And we also have new um, calendars as well, so you guys know what is coming up. We have story time every Tuesday and Thursday here at the library. We are trying to keep it socially distanced and safe, so come prepared for that. But it will be from 1030 to 11 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays for now. We have a teen room now at the library, a dedicated teen space, and it is open Monday through Friday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, whenever school is in and open. So um, not on the weekends, but Monday, yes, Monday through Friday. And our family fun programs, like this one, will be on Tuesday from about uh, 5.30 to 6, probably a little shorter than that. But um, 
that's when they'll, they'll be starting at 5.30 on TV yes. days. And make sure, again, that you don't forget to get our monthly calendar. If you don't get to come by the library and grab it, it is, um, I believe it is pinned at the top of our Facebook page. Um, so you'll be able to see it there as well. So now we have our closing song. Yes. Right. We always have to end with this because we love our readers and we just would like to just have that um, part that we can share this with you because reading is very special to us and we hope to you also. All right. All right. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. All right, yes. guys. Yay! And we can't forget, we end every program here at South Charles Public Library with a library cheer. So if you're at home and you're watching along with us, get ready. Get your fingers, your counting hands ready, and we'll go one two three, three library all right thank you for joining us thank you have a see good you evening. next tuesday